Hi guys, how are you today? Hope you are keeping safe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Faith Injairo, for those who are new. Our today's topic is raising responsible children. We are going to go through some steps on how we are supposed to raise our children responsibly. Point number one, give your children age appropriate tasks. Let the task that we give to our children be according to their ages. In other case, as much as we have domestic workers at home, let these children learn some of the simple tasks they can do. Let them even wipe the table after eating. As they come back from school or during the weekends, let them learn how to wash their personal items, like the inner pants, like the socks, let these children learn a bit by bit. In this case, you are making them to grow up responsibly. Teach them to be useful and make their impact felt positively wherever places they go. Be it in school, be it in places of worship, be it in other people's home. Let these children leave an impact in those places. Let there not be a complaint that I don't like when the child that belongs to so and so visit my place. That will be so embarrassing. Encourage them to leave a good impression wherever they go. For example, teach them to be cautious, to be respectful, to be friendly at times, let them learn some etiquette words. Let them learn some polite words like, please, may I have your phone? Please, daddy, may I use your something, for example? Whatever they want to do. Let them learn to say sorry when they are wrong. These children will grow up to be responsible. Number four. Teach them to keep the toilet clean or the bathroom for the next user. In doing so, when these children grow, they will learn to be responsible. They will even promote neatness. As you know, cleanness is next to godliness. Let them learn the importance of taking care of their bodies. Be it the bodies and the environment. Let them learn to arrange their beds, let them learn how to clean their bodies, let them take care of their armpits, teeth, hair. In this way, this child grows up to be responsible. I'm very much sure you'll not be happy when your child grows up and when she or she walks outside there, she looks like an ugly person. That is so bad. Next point, when leaving home to somebody's or somewhere else place, let's, let these children learn to carry their essential or their personal items. Let them carry their own towels. Let them carry their own toothbrush and pests. In this way, this child grows up to be responsible. Next point, dressing code. How do we train our children to dress? In most cases, you, f you meet with a child and you tend to ask yourself some question. Does this child belong to so and so? As we have our boys and girls at home, let us see the way they dress. I know you'll not be happy. This, like your boy, at your own house, he dress bare, bare chest and you expect this child, as he goes to visit in other places, be it in the upcountry, be it going to visit aunties, uncles, or shosho, you expect this boy to do the same in those places. So the way you train your child at your home is the way this child will behave in other places. So let us train our children to dress well. Table manners. Do we train our children for table manners? Do they talk at the dining table when you eat? In, in some cases, you'll find this child talking with food in the mouth. He ends up even throwing or spitting saliva to other people's food, which is bad manners. And they carry this behavior to other 
places, in the places they visit. And that is so bad. Let them respect adults when they are talking. Let them not jump into conversation belonging to adults. Not, not only just your home, but even other places. Our next point is, discourage your children from locking themselves in the bedroom with their phones. What is your child doing with that phone alone in that bedroom? You have to know. Some of these children tend to hide and learn some of the information that they're not supposed to learn. Then you reach at a time or, or your child does something and you start complaining, whom are you going to blame? Let us try to know what our children do at their own time. Remind them that they are the windows through which the world see you through. When your child behaves badly outside there, of course we will say this child belongs to this parent. And you know our children tend to imitate what we do as their role models. So we will just say automatically this is how this boy or this girl is trained at home. So let remind them that they are the windows in which the world see you outside there. So let us try to be cautioned about that. Last but not least, let our children know God. Do you train your children to read the Bible? Do you train your children to pray? Let them pray before eating. Let them pray before sleeping. As they wake up, let them learn to thank God for he has taken care of them. When they are traveling, let these children pray for journey masses. When you train our children to fear the Lord, these children will grow up responsible. They'll grow up knowing that when I do such and such a thing, it is not good. And these are, these are some of the consequences that will befall my life. So it's upon us. It's upon us as parents. Let us take care of our children. Let us make our children to grow up responsibly. It is my prayer that God help you and me to take care of our children and to ensure that they grow up responsibly. Thank you so much for listening. May you have a nice time as you keep on taking care of your children. May God bless you. Remember to hit that subscribe button as we get to learn more about our children. Bye.